morning, friends. I'm so excited to see you guys today. I hope you're ready for a great day. We are going to greet each other this morning in Russian. We are going to say Privyet. Try it. Privyet. Excellent. One more time. Privyet. Awesome. Now I want you to turn to the person on this side and say Privyet. And turn to the person on this side and say, Privyet. And how about saying Privyet to me? Oh, Privyet, everyone. I'm so happy to see you. So I'm going to say Privyet to some of my friends this morning. Privyet, Dahlia. Privyet, Faiza. Privyet, Braxton. Privyet, Charlie. Privyet, Bryn. Previet Strider, Previet Blake, Previet Cooper, Previet Gracie, Previet Sylvia. Oh, I am so happy I got to greet you guys this morning with Previet, which is good morning in Russian. All right, my friends, for our sharing this morning, we are going to share how we feel today and why we feel that way. So here in Hawaii, it is sunny and pretty, but Mrs. Ferguson is feeling a little bit sad today. Okay, so no matter what the weather's like, sometimes our hearts just aren't happy. Okay, and it's okay to be sad. Remember, we talked about this before. Whatever emotions you feel are okay. Say it with me. Whatever emotions I feel are okay. Yes, whatever you're feeling in your heart is, is okay, right? And sometimes it helps us to talk about how we feel and why we feel that way. Like I said before, I think some of our friends have had birthdays and they had big parties planned and they missed those birthdays. And that would make us sad, right? So Mrs. Ferguson today may be sad because she's missing her family. She may be sad because she can't go anywhere. Um, there's lots of reasons why we feel the way we feel. But it's okay to feel that way, all right? So I want you to think about today, you may be really happy. You may be really sad. You may be kind of in the middle. You may be kind of like, meh. So I want you to think about how you feel today. Everybody think, think, think. I feel mm because mm. And you know, raise your hand. All right, awesome. Well, I'm gonna go first and I'm not gonna share that I'm sad because when I think about it, I think it's something else. Today I feel lonely because I don't get to see my family and friends. How do you guys feel today? Oh, yeah. Well, I can tell some of you guys are really excited and some of you guys are a little bit sad or lonely. We all have different emotions at any given time. And like I said, those emotions are all okay. Sometimes it helps us to talk about them. So what I want you to do now is pause the video and find someone in your house to share. I feel mm because mm. All right, my friends, so I just shared that I was feeling a little bit lonely and sad today, right? <clears throat> so sometimes when I'm not feeling great, I come up with something that might cheer me up. And one thing Mrs. Ferguson loves besides sloths and Mr. Ferguson and her family and Puss Puss, I love sea creatures. Yes, I love going in the ocean, I love swimming, and I love sea creatures. So today we are going to do a guided drawing of two different sea creatures. And I also find that drawing is very calming. So this is a guided drawing, it's an I do, you do. Okay, so I'm going to draw something and then you are going to draw it as well. Okay, so we're gonna start out with a sea turtle. And this is from um, Deep Space Sparkle. This is where this came from. It's a really cool little drawing of a sea turtle. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to draw this shape. 
and if you notice it's a little fatter at the top than it is at the bottom if you have a, a parent who is a, a musician this is sort of shaped like a guitar pick facing down okay so go ahead and draw that part and if you ever need more time you can pause the video and catch up okay so the next thing we're going to give our little sea turtle is a head. He's going to need a head right here. So we're just going to start at the top in the middle and go up and around. Okay. Now the next thing you're going to do is you're going to give him one of his little flippers at the top. So we're going to come to one corner, all right, and you're going to go up and down. See how that kind of went up and down? And then starting here, you're going to curve it back up and around so it's attached. So that's his little flipper. Okay? So remember that was starting here. We're going to go up and down and then scoop it around and back to his body. All right, excellent. Now let's try on this, the same thing on the other side. Now, sometimes it's hard to make it look exactly the same on the other side, and that's okay because just like I am not exactly the same down the middle, a sea turtle's a little different on both sides. Uh, maybe he does more exercises on this, this side, and he has a bigger flipper. He's got a stronger flipper. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna start here. We're gonna go up and down. And you're going to scoop it around. And if you notice, they're not exactly the same, and that's okay, right? All right, excellent. Okay, so let's keep going. So he's got his flippers. Now he needs his bottom feet, okay? So these are just going to look, you're going to start, you're going to put one here and one on the other side, okay? So let's start out with the one on this side, and we're going to go... Actually, we'll start out with the one on this side. And it's going to go down and back up. So it's going to go back up to his body. And we're going to put one on the other side, starting about here. And it's going to go down and back up to his body. So let's review that if you didn't get it. You're going to go from his body here, down, a little bit curvy, and then give him his foot back up. Awesome, same thing on the other side, down and back up. Excellent, and again, I love this whiteboard because if I make a mistake, it's really easy to fix. And I can maybe even practice on my whiteboard and then try on a piece of paper so that I've got a little time to practice and work out the kinks here, okay? All right, let's see what our sea turtle needs next. Hey, turtle, he needs a little tail. So you're going to give him just a little tail there in the middle. And it's just sort of starting here. And you just swoosh down and back up. Give him that little tail. All right. Now, what does a turtle have to protect his body? A shell. Yes. So we need to do the design on his shell. And I'm going to actually just draw this exact same shape inside this part just a little bit smaller, okay? So it's gonna be the exact same shape as this big part, but it's just gonna be a little bit smaller and that's gonna be the in, inner part of his shell, okay? So just kind of go around, make it a little bit smaller than the other one, okay? Awesome work. Everybody's doing such a good job listening and following along. All right, so now we are going to draw this is a particular shape and we are going to start right there and you're going to go you're going to kind of make straight lines and I think this is a one two three four five six sided shape it's going to be a hexagon but it's not going to be exactly hexagonal it's going to be a little bit different okay so so we're going to start here and you're going to go up straight line straight across Diagonal down, diagonal the other way, straight across, diagonal up. Okay? And remember, it does not have to be perfect. It doesn't have to look just like mine. Mine doesn't look just like the picture. I promise you it doesn't. <laughs> 
Okay, so you're going to make that hexagon. Say it with me. Hexagon. Excellent. And then we're going to draw two straight lines underneath just like that, kind of in the middle, because we're going to use those as a guide for the rest of the shell. All right? Okay, guys, make sure you have your hexagon and your two little lines. Awesome, awesome. Now you're going to use this hexagon and you're going to draw lines out to the inner part of the shell. So I'm just going to go like that. I'm going to draw it straight out to the shell, 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 and straight out to the shell. And then I can do this one too, straight out to the shell. Okay, did you see how I just took, went from those corners out to the edge? Okay, and that's going to make it look like the design that he has on the back of his shell. Now, we are going to make each of these into little mini hexagons. So we're going to go out, in, out, in, so that I'm connecting these lines to each other by going out diagonally and in to the line. So out diagonally and into the line. Excellent. And I'm going to do the exact same thing down here. Keep making those designs. And again, he's your turtle. Whatever you want the design on the back of his shell to look like is fine. And we're just going to draw those lines to the edge again to finish up our turtle shell. And it does not look, um, it doesn't have to be symmetrical. It's totally okay. So now the last thing we're going to do, and you can give your little turtle eyes if you want. We probably, his, his face wouldn't be this way because this is from his shell, but his eyes could be on the top of his head like that. And his smile might be down there underneath. So what we're going to do now is you're going to just take the shell part, the outer shell and the inner shell, and you're going to connect them with little lines. And that's just going to make his shell complete. Little lines just like that. Oh, I find drawing and coloring so calming, especially when I'm having a tough day. So our last step is we just drew a line between the outer shell and the inner shell. Just all little lines. All right, now if there was a part of this that you got confused on or got stuck on, you can always rewind the video and start over and try again. But again, it's always nice to use a whiteboard because if we make a mistake, we can easily erase it. So our next seed creature that we're going to draw, <clears throat> and Mrs. Ferguson has to find her directions for it because I'm not ready to freehand these yet, is a crab. And this crab is super cute. So everybody follow along. Get your marker ready or your pencil, whichever you're using. And we're going to start out by drawing kind of an oval. Okay? So it doesn't have to be perfect. Just draw an oval. Kind of goes, it's like a circle that you went with and made it a little bit flatter. All right. Now, once you have your oval, we're going to make the little doohickeys that his eyes are on. So we're going to start at his head. We're going to go up and circle. Kind of like that. Just kind of up and curve it back down to his head. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay. So you should have a, an oval head, and then for this part, remember, you start at the top of his head, and you go up and down, back to the head, and then same thing on the other side, up and down. Awesome, awesome. Now, he's got his little eye doohickeys. Now he needs his eyes. So on the top of each of these, you are going to draw a circle. Okay, so I'm just gonna draw a circle. And crabs have kind of big eyes, so let me make sure. I might give him an even bigger eye than that. Oh, I just love being able to race it that easily. Keeps me from getting frustrated. So I'm going to draw a circle on each of those. And then he needs his eyeball, so I'm going to draw a circle inside. Oh, my goodness. He's going to be so cute. His little pin. We're going to do little pinchers. He's going to be real cute. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do, we are going to work on his pinchers. So on both sides and kind of up, like he's going like this, he's going to be pinching upward. Okay, you're going to draw two little lines. Okay, and a little half moon. Okay, all right. 
So we start at his body and we go up two little lines and a half moon. Excellent. Let's do the exact same thing on the other side to make him sort of symmetrical. One line, two lines, and a half moon. Okay, give me a thumbs up if you're ready. Excellent. So we're going to keep moving on our crab and we are going to finish up his pinchers, his little pinchies. We're going to go half moon close like that. Okay, so you just kind of take the part the, the ends and connect them with a little swoosh. Okay, so close up the moon basically. And same thing here, we're gonna close up the moon with a little swoosh. Excellent. Now, he's got his little arms. What does he need on the bottom? He needs his little crabby legs, right? Otherwise he's gonna be real crabby because he can't walk anywhere. So let's give him some legs. So we're gonna just, this is a pretty easy one. You're just gonna go straight down from the bottom of his body and just off to the side, make it look like a little foot, okay? And these two feet are gonna be facing that way and these two feet are gonna be facing that way, okay? Got one foot, two feet, and do the same thing over here, one foot, two foot, two foot. Now that might be a little bit long and close together, so I'm gonna move it over just a little bit. Oh, I made it long again, that is okay. He is just a long-legged crab and they're kinda, his legs are different, different lengths and he probably sticks them out at different lengths so he can still walk straight. <laughs> I don't know this crab's life, so it's okay. All right, so the last thing he needs, do you think he's a happy crab? Oh, I think so, he's a happy crab, so he's gonna need a smile, so I'm gonna give him a big smile. Oh my goodness. You guys did a great job today. You drew a turtle and a crab. Wonderful. Now remember, if you would like to practice those, um, these pictures, you can always rewind the video. You can pause the video at any time. And um, once you're done, if you've done it on paper, you can color your crab in, um, your crab and your turtle in. I like to color mine real life colors, but it's up to you. It's your crab. He could be a rainbow colored crab. This could be a rainbow colored turtle. Okay, it could be a turtle unicorn. He could have a horn right here that makes him a turtle unicorn. These are your creations. You can be as creative and fun as you want with them. Okay, so I want you to give me some celebration pinchers. Pinch, 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 pinch. And I want you to pretend to run around like a crab. They run really funny and they run sideways. And then if you ever are on the beach and you see a crab and it, it, it thinks you can't see him, so he goes like this. And he pauses and he looks at you and then he goes to the side. They're very funny little guys. So thanks for drawing with me, guys. You did a great job. Guess what time it is? It's hero time. H-E-R-O time. It's H-E-R-O time. Who will be our hero today? Today we are so lucky because we have two heroes. These two heroes happen to be married to each other. And I want you to meet my dear friends, Caitlin and Brian. It's a little hard to see them. That's Caitlin and Brian. And they are in front of Mount Hood in this picture. And so they're, what they're wearing in that picture is not what they wear to work. Caitlin and Brian are both doctors. And Brian actually works in New York City at Memorial Sloan Kettering Hospital. And so Brian is usually doing research on cancer. And cancer is an illness that we get in our bodies that makes us very sick. Um, but with the research that Brian does, it helps people they're working to find cures so that people that get cancer can get better. So the work that he does at Sloan Kettering is so important. And so what he's doing now though, is he's actually helping a lot of people who are suffering from the virus that live in New York. And the thing that I wanted you guys to know about my friends Caitlin and Brian is they made a huge sacrifice because of this virus. Um, and because Brian was working with people with the virus, Caitlin took her two kiddos up to upstate New York so that they could give Brian some time um, in his condo. They wanted to make sure they didn't bring the virus home. So they spent about five weeks away from their dad and didn't get to see him at all. 
Don't you think that must have been really hard for the kids and for Caitlin? I think so. So while Brian was in New York City working, um, working to help people with this virus, Caitlin was actually helping people on the computer. So she does what's called telemedicine. And it's medicine, it's help, it's like your doctor talking to you on the computer. And she diagnoses her patients and she helps them from the computer. So she was able to take care of her daughters and do her work at the same time. And the great news is that Caitlin and her kids just went back to the city to see Brian. So they all got to be reunited and together again. So my friends Caitlin and Brian are real heroes because they made some big sacrifices, right? Brian takes care of people with, um, with this virus and Caitlin's actually doing the same thing. She's just doing it from the computer. So my two doctor friends, Caitlin and Brian, I think they are absolute heroes. No matter whether this virus is going on or not, they are working to help people. So let's all say thank you. Thank you, Caitlin and Brian. Caitlin and Brian, thank you so much for what you do for your community, for the people that you serve. They are so grateful for what you do. Brian, your cancer research makes a huge, huge difference. And Caitlin, your patients really depend on you. Thank you for being our hometown heroes today. Okay guys, today we're gonna play a game called Guess the Emotion, okay? So you guys are gonna get to do the same emotion after I do it, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show a feeling with my face. And you guys have to guess how I feel from my face and my body language. Sometimes we use our words to say how we feel, right? I'm sad, or I'm happy, or I'm excited, or I'm lonely, okay? But sometimes we just use our faces and our bodies to show how we feel. Okay, so I'm going to show an emotion and then you have to guess how I'm feeling and then you guys get to act out the emotion at home. Okay, ready? How do you think I was feeling? I was angry, right? or frustrated. Sometimes when we're angry, we close our bodies up and we cross our arms and we make this face. So I want you guys to make your best angry face. <laughs> Great job. That kind of makes me feel better just being a little silly, huh? Okay, get ready for the next emotion. How do I feel? Yes, I feel excited. I kind of did a little happy dance. What did my face look like? It had a big smile on it, right? I was excited. Okay, how? Oh, now you guys show me that you're excited. Act out being excited. <laughs> Good job. Okay, how about this one? How does Mrs. Ferguson feel? I do, I feel sad. How am I showing you that I'm sad? Well, yes, my face, I was rubbing my tear and my head was down, looked like my face was frowning. But I also showed you with my shoulders, right? I was like this, looked like I was sad. So guys, show me that you're sad. Oh, well, I hope that, I hope you guys feel a little better. I feel a little better just having done our, done our uh, morning meeting today. It made me much happier. How about this one? What do you think? Yes, I'm happy. I am also seem like I'm relaxed. I don't know if you guys noticed, but right before... I, right before I smiled, I went like this. <sighs> it didn't quite make that noise. <laughs> but I relaxed my shoulders and my face showed that I was content and happy. Okay? What about this one? What, what am I feeling? 
I'm feeling scared. I'm nervous. I'm looking around. Oh my goodness. There's nothing to be scared of in my room. <laughs> but I'm scared, okay? I've got my body nice and tight together. I'm looking around. So show me that you're scared. Yes, so my friends, give yourselves a big round of applause. You did a wonderful job today. And I want you to know, like I said before, that any emotion you're feeling is okay. So repeat it after me. Any emotion I feel is okay. Yes, any emotion you feel is okay. All right? So, if you're feeling sad, that's all right. Mrs. Ferguson feels a little lonely and sad today, and that's okay. I'm going to try to do some things to cheer me up, but even at the end of that, I might still feel a little sad, and that's all right. Even grown-ups have all the emotions. All the emotions. <laughs> so, one thing I would like for you guys to do is pick an emotion and act it out right now. Look at you guys go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Great job, everybody. Thank you guys for making my heart so happy today. So let's get on a roller coaster. This is the big hill. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope you have a wonderful day and we will see you next time. Bye.